Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scott. Happy birthday to you. What the hell is happening? Your present? Cumpleaños, sí, señor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just roll it. Wow. <laughs> you are so cool. He's not gonna remember really? that. Actually. Wow! Look, guys. <laughs> oh shit! You got one? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got one for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy well, birthday my mom. to me. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, honey. I think mom just died of ligma. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone, you can't meet. We see. Today on Fix It Friday, we are going to be having some fun, at least my kind of fun. Um, I get to put this guy in. Now, it is not the newest, the latest, and the greatest, which runs right around $5,000. However, I got a great deal on it. And when I say great, I can't even begin to tell you how great because I was told asked not to. But um, you can probably, there's still a few of these deals left. This is the Raymarine Hybrid Touch E165. Um, it's a touch screen still. It's a 16 inch, which is actually 15.4 uh, inch display. Uh, it runs all the newest software. It's upgradable with the new lighthouses. Um, is it the latest and greatest? No. But to be honest with you, for the amount of money, you know, a couple grand versus, you know, five, six grand, definitely worth the bang for the buck. Better. But you can pick this up for somewhere around two grand. I've seen them on eBay refurb. This one has a full two year warranty. Or you can uh, hit up my buddies in Pompano at MaxMarineElectronics.com. Um, he's all over eBay though. He's got some really good stuff. Uh, really nice people, and they're willing to you know talk to you, tell you what you need. Um, he hooked me up with a GPS antenna, which that's a whole nother. We'll have to put that on this weekend, and uh, you know all the cables that I needed. And yeah, like I said, just real nice people. But first things first, gotta get the old stuff out first. All right, so I am going to shoehorn that thing right here. And when I say shoehorn, I mean shoehorn. <laughs> um, we're going to take the uh, covers off. So I'm gonna leave those covers on. We're gonna undo the strings. We're gonna pop the bezel off. Not much to it. Um, this one's only held in by what looks to be four screws. It's got a seal on it. I'm gonna break the seal. There we go. And out it comes. Now, got one plug in the back. And I was hoping. Well, of course, not. I'd have a plug end in the new one, and I wouldn't have to. But no. Ray Marine is Ray Marine, and it should have the same plugs. And this is Raymarine has two types of networks. Um, this runs on the older Sea uh, Talk network, and the new Sea Talk network is Sea Talk NG, which actually does have an NG plug on it, but it wasn't being used. So, but the way most of this works is like um, my wind instruments. It gets its signals from upstairs, sends them down here, down a wire, and then this one is jumped to this one. And then this one has jumped to this one. And then in the middle of them all is this guy. So, I mean it, now we have to take the old CTOC system and get it to talk to the new CTOC system, which I've already run a, uh, a new NEMA 2000 backbone. And we're gonna put a splice point here. Um, if you look right here, this is the roof above the kitchen and this is the pantry. So when I pull the pantry out, there'll be a big hole here. We'll be able to, you know, continue on. But I'm not gonna take the 
pantry out and get into all that until we have made the mess out here by cutting out the new pattern first. I think I might have to remove the compass. Might have to come out. Um, I know it's going to have to be re-swung because of the interference that the new system's going to put on it, but it was so off anyway from when we bought the boat. I've never had it swung and it's just good to have in case everything else goes out. The back bone. This is the Sea Tonk data, which like I was talking about earlier, sends everything from gauge to gauge to gauge. And this Oh, this is our uh, wind, so, ooh. oh no, that's a, and it is blue for blue, green for green, red for red. All right, so that's pretty easy. So, now, this is our template, and like I said, it's going to be close. Oh, wow, yeah. So, my fiberglass is here, so my nearest point is here, it's going to put us Right about there. Should we slide it over a little bit? And we're hitting down here. Well, I guess if I put it over where, it's, where I originally thought it would go, which was here. That hole shows over there. That hole shows over there, so the only thing I could do with that would be to glass it. So my job in this whole thing is a, to clean the old stuff so we can sell it. B, I get to cut out the templates so we can use it. And C, he interrupted me, um, to film it. So I get the easy work. And voila. Crash for sure. Cool, um, I use Premiere Pro uh, for software. Yeah. Um, Premiere Pro is great, but uh, my first, how many videos? What you doing? Well, I am making my own cable because Ray Marine wanted a fortune for it and there's none to be had, so I'm not a very patient fella. No comment, so I get the fun job of undoing all of the access panels so we can run said wire to the helm. So, powered with a drill in hand with the explicit instructions not to strip out the screws. We'll see what I can do. cavity inside that we've opened up.
Voila! And most people are going to ask why we have a Garmin GPS antenna with a Raymarine head. And what, are, and what are you going to tell most people when they ask that? The Garmin is a cheaper GPS antenna and it still has 30 to 45 satellites. So it's better bang for the buck. Keep it positive, baby. Keep it positive. Uh -huh. okay, rubber gasket seal to the Ray Marine head unit. This is our NEMA 2000 cable. So we plug our depth gauge into here. I mean our GPS into here. This is our NEMA 2000 backbone. And then we will mount this up here somewhere. And then we will find the wiring. What seems to be the problem, sir? Um, the gauge packages up there don't want to let go because they're this is the cord we made. You can see our cord. So let me plug into here. And then it adapts over to the Ray Marine proprietary crap, which put these two together like this. Then this goes to the head unit. This goes to the old CTOC system. And that allows them to interface. So all I need to do is get this gauge out. Can you grab the rubble grips? Yeah. Why, why do we have to take that gauge out? Because we only have room for, there's only room for two gauges up there. And so up, and the depth and speed both show up on the head unit. Right, but the hole you cut out was just that size. So what else is going up there? No, we have to put this back up there. This is our analog wind gauge. Oh, okay. So, so we just have to wind. pull that one, put this one up gotcha. there. All right, now I remember. Using and then we're ready to close it up. Just the plotter? Yeah. This looks like progress. Mm hmm. I won't point out the obvious that it's not in its correct spot. Now the only thing to make it better is if it was out there. But we still have fiberglass drying, so I wanted to keep going on the wiring. And we've got everything talking. Depth gauge seems to be working. Analogs outside are working. And the autopilot's back working. Get that! So what do you think? I can see it. <laughs> it sure is big enough. It is big enough. And that's what she just said. <laughs> is the depth really 3.1 feet? Under keel? Under keel, but there's that little rock ledge. Oh. Oh. Us, so it's kind of bouncing off of that. But we don't have our chirp. Um, <laughs> transducer on there so you really don't have sonar it's just getting off the depth gauge. I can tell you that it's not 8.23 p.m. Well we still have a little bit more of a mess to clean up but all in all we did a good job it only took we started about 9 30 this morning and it's 4 30 this afternoon so be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe for some more fun fix it Fridays He's always got a project going on, so there'll always be content. Um, and thanks for watching. Space between, where you'll find me if I get to go.